formulas. What on earth are formulas? Let's finally have a look at them. A chemical formula is rather simple. It is an abbreviated summary of the ratio of elements that a material is made out of. So if I'm looking at water, uh, the chemical formula will tell me what elements it's made out of and what are the proportions of those two elements. Uh, if I'm looking at a chemical formula for, um, you know, uh, sugar, it would tell me exactly what elements it's built out of and what are the proportions or ratios of those materials, of those elements that it's made out of. Let's look at a few uh, real examples of chemical formulas. You see them all the time. It's things like CO2, H2O. That's what I've been referring to this whole time. Those are the chemical formulas. So the first one we looked at in the previous video, it's two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. The chemical formula that below that one, that's the formula for vinegar, sometimes called ethanoic acid, sometimes called acetic acid, depending on what your favorite is. Um, and we can see it's made of carbon, some hydrogen, and some oxygen atoms. And you can count how many of each of them to find, to find your ratios. And the last formula down below, that's the formula for calcium carbonate, which is in limestone, marble, um, and lots of other materials as well. Uh, and we can see it's made out of one part carbon, sorry, one part calcium, one part carbon, three parts oxygen. So it gives you what it's made out of and what its ratios are. We can use this information to try and figure out how to make it from scratch if we want to. Or if we uh, take it as a starting material, we can uh, get a clue as to what elements could we get out of it if we try and decompose it. Uh, another thing I want to raise is that uh, the, the word chemical formula can be abbreviated to just the word formula. So if I say formula, you need to think chemical formula, which is these little symbol notations here. Um, and you also need to keep in mind that formula in chemistry is not the same meaning as the word formula is used in mathematics. So I think in mathematics, most people think of formulas as things like y equals mx plus b or the quadratic uh, formula or these other types of uh, formulas that's not that's not what we're talking about in chemistry it's a bit confusing and it's a bit unfortunate but we have that distinction where we actually mean something different uh, in chemistry and that's it uh, the next video we're going to look at chemical equations